If you wanna launch new products to sell on Amazon, then stay locked in on this video because I'm about to show you an AI powered tool called Shulix that takes product research to a whole nother level. Essentially, this tool gathers and analyzes thousands of Amazon customer reviews to give you key insights into what shoppers liked, didn't like, and wished was different. You can get insights on one ASIN at a time or dozens of ASINs at once to give you even more ways on how to improve the product for shoppers and offer more value. Knowing what customers didn't like about a product is crucially important because if you can avoid those things with your product, then you'll get fewer negative reviews and more positive ones. Basically, this tool helps you improve the user experience with your product so you can close the gap between customers' expectations and their actual experience. Now, even though Shulix did sponsor this video, they didn't tell me what to say, so I'm being completely honest when I tell you that this tool is super helpful for when it comes to Amazon product research. Shulix allows Amazon sellers to analyze customer demographics, read and export hundreds of reviews, search through reviews based on keyword phrases, easily explore the positives and negatives that shoppers experienced, and most importantly, get a great understanding of a product to determine if you'd like to sell it on Amazon or not. So before we jump into the video where I show you the dashboard and how to use this tool, let me quickly tell you who I am and how I can help you make more money from selling on Amazon. So real quick, if you don't know me, my name is Ian Smith and I run an Amazon creative agency called Evolve Media Agency. At EMA, we completely revamp Amazon listings by doing top tier product photo and video shoots that increase PPC ad performance by boosting the product page's conversion rate. We also build out brand story sections, Amazon storefronts, and create off Amazon marketing funnels. We manage Google search ads, Amazon PPC ads, and TikTok ads. If you want free access to our Amazon on listing checklist, go to amzchecklist.com. And if you want to book a free consulting call where you'll get a free Amazon product listing audit, then go to emaamz.com. So now let's carry on with the video. All right, so like I mentioned before, this tool is super helpful for product research and figuring out how you can position your product offering better than the competitors, understand more about the customer, and overall have a better grasp on the product category you're thinking about entering. If after seeing this video, you want to give Shulix a try, then create a free account by going to evolvelinks.com slash Shulix. With a free account, you're able to analyze 100 ASINs before you actually need to upgrade to a paid account. And when you're ready to upgrade, you can save 60% on their monthly pro plan by using the promo code EVOLVE60. So now let me share my screen and show you the things I love most about this AI powered product research tool. All right, so now you should be able to see my screen and I'm gonna start things off with showing you the power of their Google Chrome extension. So right now I'm just on some search results page. I just typed in men's fingerless gloves, as you can see up there. And basically what you wanna do is you wanna add ASINs, either one or multiple, to a collection, and then you're gonna be able to analyze the information in that collection. You're gonna be able to see you know, the reviews, the pros and cons of that product and things like that. So this is how easy it is to add products to this collection. So you just see this blue button right here. You can click add right there, and then you can choose which collection collection you want an attitude. Now I already have a collection here called men's gloves. So I'm just going to add it to that collection. And then it's going to analyze and look at all the reviews. And, and basically, uh, when you have multiple ASINs in a collection, you can really get a good idea of that product category and overall what a lot of the pain points are that customers are seeing when they're buying these different products. So you can either add ASINs to your collection through the search results page, or you can actually go to their dashboard, which is right here. And you can add ASINs to a collection on this dashboard right here. But let me just stick to the on Amazon stuff for now. Um, so we're just gonna click on one of these listings. I'll click on this one, it's got 18,000 ratings. What I've kind of found is that when you put ASINs in that have a ton of ratings, you actually get more data back. So choosing ASINs that have at least a few hundred ratings may give you some more data. But let's see, on the actual listing, you can add the ASIN to the collection right here, or you can export out all the reviews. So you can literally click download reviews, and then that's gonna download like the past couple
couple years of reviews that they've gotten. And then you can actually, you know, in an Excel spreadsheet or in a Google sheet, you can look at all the different ratings and all the information through there if that fits you best. I personally just like to stick to their dashboard. So that's what I'm going to move on to next is what kind of stuff their dashboard offers as far as data. So now you should be able to see the dashboard right here. And I've actually been playing around with a lot of different ASINs, Bluetooth speakers, kitchen gadgets, workout equipment. I have some unique, you know, one of a kind ASINs right here that I was kind of looking at. And then I've got groups of ASINs right here. So let's just click on the men's gloves since I just showed you me adding one of those products to this collection. All right, now starting from the top, you can see that I've added seven ASINs to this and then it will bring in other variant ASINs. Now I don't really want that. So I'm going to uncheck this, including other variations. But if you do want to see like a ton of different variations and you can always leave that checked, but actually you can see how big of a difference it does with the uh, revenue. So it's $215,000 in December, 2022. But if I include variations, it's 900,000. So that means more data. So, you know, you can kind of make the decision if you want to include more data or less data. I actually am going to leave that checked so we can just look at this top area right here. So revenue is almost a million dollars from these seven, actually almost 65 ASINs. So uh, revenue trend, it looks like it's on the rise, probably because winter, we're getting deeper into winter and people are realizing, wow, I need some gloves. Average rating is 4.4. So that's really good to know. Again, this is a group of ASINs. So you know that if you are going to launch a product in this category, in this area, right, you need to really shoot for a higher rating because right now a lot of people, you know, 4.4 average rating is pretty good. 6,600 total reviews across these different ASINs and then valid reviews is about the same number. All right. So moving down to the actual demographics of the customers who use this product, you can see it gives you information into like where, who used it. So mail carriers, photographers, delivery drivers, mailmen, teachers. So that's kind of cool. It gives you a little bit of a percentage breakdown on who is actually using this product. All right. So this next section is actually talking about who is the person actually using it. So the reviews that actually mentioned husband is about 30% of the reviews. So you could say that the wife's actually wrote the review and they said, I bought this for my husband and X, Y, Z. So they either bought it for their husband or they bought it for their son, or maybe the husband bought it for his wife. But that kind of gives you a little bit of insight into who's buying it versus who's actually reviewing it, who's actually using it, who, what, where, when. There's a lot of whole stuff in there as far as like who is using it, husband, son, where are they using it is this magenta color. So office, house, snow, basement, basement, what does it say? Basement, bus. Okay. So for bus drivers, okay. When are they using it every day, morning, winter months, cold winter. Some of these things are common sense, but depending on what ASINs you're putting in there, you may actually get some really good information from this. What are they doing? Uh, it's a gift. It's dog walking. It's a drive. It's for driving. They're traveling with it, using it for their phone. So stuff like that. So some good customer insights there. And then what is the geographical location of these customers? And again, this is pulling information from the actual review copy. So they're saying here, the bigger words are going to be the most common ones. So Chicago, Colorado, Minnesota, Michigan, obviously this is a gloves product. So it's mostly going to be in the colder climates in the U S so Michigan, Chicago, Colorado, Minnesota, those are definitely the colder climates here in the U S all right. So my favorite part is really this wish section right here. Now I always like to scroll down to the bottom, right? And then click on a hundred per page. So I can just load in a whole bunch of them. Now, as you read through these, you'll find that you just want to disregard some of them. And then also you can click on these and it will literally show you the entire review right there. And then you can kind of hover over different keyword phrases and it will highlight that so that when you're reviewing a lot of these different reviews at once, you can just easily see, okay, cooler weather. What's this saying about that? Uh, get more use out of my phone. Again, these are fingerless gloves. So it's easy to work your phone when you're wearing gloves and things like that. So I'm just going to go back now and we're just going to look at what some of these wishes are. So this person right here says, I just wish that the thumb was also exposed. And that was actually a concern of mine as well, because some of these gloves had the thumb covered and then these fingers were exposed. So, you know, as a person that may want to enter the glove market and selling some gloves, you know, I'm seeing this person actually wanted the thumb exposed. So, okay, I may want to expose the thumb as well on my gloves or have that option. Maybe it's a different variation on my listing that I have one of the thumb exposed and one of the thumb not exposed. This person right here is asking for different color options. It would have been nice if they had like a red or a blue or different color options like that. This person is saying the Velcro part is a bit annoying as it can snag on my sweater or something. And I don't Velcro them back anyway. So I just wish it was a small snap or nothing there at all. So they're giving you some good insight as far as like they don't like the Velcro. You could either do a, a magnet or like a button snap or something like that. But these are definitely some great wishes that you can really just comb through, you know, pages and pages of reviews to find what do you want to include in your product and what do you not want to include based on what people are currently talking about products just like the one you may want to launch. And as you read through these, you'll find that there's like, you know, common complaints among all of them. So right here, it says a button probably would have been better. Another person says a snap or a button would 
have been better. This person says a snap would have been a better choice. So like the more and more you see that people are not digging the Velcro, the more you're gonna wanna avoid Velcro in whatever product you bring to Amazon. All right, so that is the wish section. Let's click on the scenarios section and see what kind of data we can see from here. All right, so this first section talks about where the product is actually being used. Now they have different ways to review this data, which is kind of cool. You've got the stats, and I personally like the stats or the table the best. So you can see here car, office, house, indoor is among the top places where people are using this. So taking that data and then putting it into your listing, you know, your images may include people actually wearing the gloves, holding a steering wheel in the car, you know, holding a cup in the car. They may be in their office. Maybe they work in a, a cold office. And so they're showing people typing because it's cold, I guess. And so you're showing people typing in your images and in your copy, you're going to address that concern with 9% and 8%. So that's almost 20% of people that are using it in their car office, and then a smaller percentage in their house and indoor and places like that. So if we just look at the table here, we can see car mentions but 9% of the people. And if we click on reviews here, then we can actually view all of the reviews that mention the word car and you can refine down, you know, just by hovering over the word car, it kind of highlights it for you right there. And then you can quickly read through what are they talking about the car? Okay, so they're saying scraping the car when they're cleaning off the icy snowy windshield. And then this person is saying they are warm enough for car purposes and they do have XYZ. So it's automatically highlighting the car section for you. And again, you're narrowing down on that keyword phrase of car. This tool Shulix is doing a great job of saving you a bunch of time with pouring through all these reviews and pages manually. And it's literally just bringing all the reviews right to you containing the word car. So you can make the determination if you want to really focus in on car gloves and put that keyword in your title and really keyword optimize your entire listing around gloves for the car, things like that. So I'm going to just go back to scenarios here. And these next sections in the scenarios section are talking about price range versus where. So it says here zero to $16.99, $16.99 to $31.57. So this is where it's really important to have multiple ASINs in your actual analysis and put, you know, anywhere from 10 to 70 different ASINs to actually look at the whole product category where there are different prices and you can figure out like where are people using it? What is the price range that people are buying in? And that way you can figure out what price point do you want to be at with your product offering. Then you have here brand versus where. So the different brands of the actual gloves that I put in versus where they actually using it. Any topic versus where. So husband, wife, daughter, car. So I mean, again, car is just really standing out among all the users and among all the places that they're using this product. So really good insights into how customers are actually using this product and who is using this product. All right. So the next section is by feature. Now, this is a really cool table. I really like this one because it shows you negative opinions versus positive opinions, the percentage of these negative and positive opinions, and then also the average stars that those people gave. So just going through some of the negatives you see here, Velcro comes apart. Velcro is an issue. Glove is too small for my hand. So sizing, you know, as a seller, you want to be very clear on the size of the glove. And I know a lot of these listings actually had like measurements of like showing, hey, you can measure around your hand, but maybe putting easier insights because not everybody is going to go measure their hand. I personally didn't. I actually bought some of these gloves while I was doing this research and I did not go and measure my hand. I was just thinking, okay, what size am I normally? So giving them an easy way to just understand how big the size may be that they want. You know, you can say like children aged this age to this age are going to be this size or women from this size from this age to this size are typically this size. So giving them some insight as well as doing the whole measurement guide thing so that they can figure out what size they are may be helpful so they don't have to actually go and find some tape measure and actually like measure their hand just to figure out which one they want to buy. You know, they may be buying this in an inconvenient place. Then they want to do an impulse buy and by you asking them to go and measure their hand, they're like, oh, okay, I'll save for later. I'll do that later. And then they never end up buying. So making it just as easy as possible for your customers to buy from you, getting this kind of information and then relaying that into your copy and your images and things like that is really helpful for how you actually create your listing, do your product research and everything like that. So some of the other negatives are glove does not produce sufficient heat. It's a tad loose on my hand. It's a tiny bit thin cover. The thumb cover came off a few times. So bulkiness, size, warmth, things like that is a lot of complaints from people. I don't know how you would exactly, uh, you know, combat that, you know, just try your best and be as clear as possible in your listing copy and images on the thickness and the warmth, you know, telling them this is good in these temperature conditions. So just being as transparent as possible to reduce the amount of returns that you get, reduce the amount of negative reviews that you get and overall increase the conversion rate. The more transparent you are with the shoppers, the higher your conversion rate is going to be, the lower your return rate is going to be. And overall customers will have a better experience with using your product. Now, the next section in this buy feature category is performance of each brand in the category. So you can actually click a drop down here and you can kind of do some comparisons with the brand Vigrace versus 
versus, you know, Paul myth. You can kind of see what uh, what are negative mentions. People didn't like the Velcro. Uh, they didn't like the glove overall in this one. So that's a really cool section here. And then what features do consumers care most about? This is a really cool section where you can see glove, fit, Velcro, mitten, material, leather quality. And then you can sort by negative. You can look at only negatives and see, okay, the glove overall was just not a big uh, fan favorite here. We can look at the positives and see the glove was overall a fan favorite. So, you know, sometimes you got to decode this data and figure out what do you really want to act on and what do you just know as, okay, I got to disregard that and really, you know, looking at other things like the fit and the mitten and the leather and the quality and the material overall. Now, if we click on discovery, this section right here talks about the topic analysis of reviews. So mostly like who are the actual people using this product is kind of what I'm gathering from here. So family mentions, they mentioned the word family, you know, 7% of the time. Mail is mentioned 5% of the time. So you can also click on reviews and actually look at specific reviews mentioning these keyword phrases. All right. And then if we click on the actual reviews section, this is where we can actually read reviews from these and you can type in a different keyword phrase. You can look at different star ratings. You can just look at the negatives versus the positives versus the neutral. So you can really drill down on what different review types you're trying to look for here. If you click on design, then it will just highlight the, the section of that, you know, talking about design. So if we wanted to search reviews, all mentioning the word design, we can type in design right there and it will bring up all these reviews right here. So there's 50 negative, there's 37 positive, and we can just read through what are the bad things that people are saying about the design of this specific glove right here with this ASIN. So as you can see, a lot of really cool and powerful information, man, this is probably one of the coolest product research tools that I've really got to mess with. And I love that it's actually using the reviews, copy and information to give us this data because this is coming straight from the customers. The customers who are taking their time to actually write these reviews are the ones that you want to know about because those may be the customers that actually take the time to write reviews on your product. So this is really cool product research because you're kind of doing the focus group approach where you are literally getting opinions of people and you're letting that determine how you're going to go and find your product to sell on Amazon. And then how can you actually create the images and the copy on your listing to address these concerns and overall set the expectations accurately so that that gap between the customer expectations and the actual customer experience is as small as possible. You know, their expectations are met when they buy your product because that is the whole goal of selling something online. You do not want somebody to think that something is this large when they're buying it online and then they get it and it's this large. You want to set the expectations accurately. I'm all about that and all the content that I talk about, I'm all about that. And when we do our product photo shoots and product video shoots, that is our main goal is setting expectations accurately. So a lot of the times we will have a hand in the images or videos so that people can see, okay, this is the size of the product in relation to a regular sized hand. So again, if you want to sign up for this tool and get a free account, go to evolvelinks.com slash Shulix. You can get a free account, 100 ASINs. And then if you want to upgrade, use the promo code evolve60, and that'll save you 60% on the pro plan. And lastly, if you want to book a free consulting call with me, where you get a free listing audit, and we can look at your actual listing and look at how it can be improved, then go to EMA amz.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got some real value from this and I hope you do check out this Shulix AI powered product research tool. It's awesome. I'm definitely having some fun playing around with it. So I hope you do as well. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.